Hello, I'm Sophia and here's a day in my life at Cambridge University, Lent term of year two. It's not part of routine as my days are very random, but it's quite a typical one. So I try to wake up between 7.30 and 9 unless I've been out the night before. Let light in, gaze at the gorgeous concrete of Murray Edwards College. Lent term is usually quite cold, so I crank my radiator up. College is lovely in that heating is included in my hall's rent. And I swap myself out for the day. I'm not usually a morning showerer, but I decided to wash my hair today. This is the day I couldn't find my hairbrush, not really sure what happened. One of the only routine parts of my day is making my bed, so definitely had to include that one in. Dried my hair as well, because it was absolutely freezing outside. Sorted my laundry out and folded my clothes. I've got a lot of storage space this year, living in Orchard Court, which I'm very happy about. Most of my time is just spent tidying my room. I've no clue how it becomes become so messy, but at least it's therapeutic to sort out. That's me throwing things away in the bin. I promise there's a bin there. And the most important part of my day, a morning tea. Look at our messy kitchen. We share it between nine people, so it does get quite a bit messy. So today was quite a productive day for my standards. And because I do modern languages, it might be different for other courses, but I try to do around three to four hours of independent work on an average day. But this could go either way. If I'm very busy with extracurriculars, I'll do a bit less. Or if I'm very stressed with deadlines, I'll do more. Today I was focusing on my modern Greek because I was a bit behind. I had two classes at the main humanities site starting at one. So I made a very quick lunch of pasta. I decided to improvise with oat milk and egg sauce. And although it didn't look very appetizing, it was absolutely delicious. So I ate that very quickly whilst watching a video for the class I was about to have. Packed up and hopped on Mike the bike for a quick 10 minute cycle to Sidgwick and the ML faculty. Made it to my Greek grammar class on time and had my audiovisual German class straight after in the same block. Then made my way to the library for a quick hour of essay research me concentrating very hard. Got back on Mike the bike and went to the centre of town for a play rehearsal. Had to do a little Shakespeare on Tuesday afternoon. Then head to Sainsbury's to pick up ingredients for dinner and lunch for the next few days. Got a tiny bit of admin done before obviously putting my sad lamp on uh, that I absolutely recommend for winter months. Before going to cook dinner with my lovely friend Katie. I was like, oh, what have I done? I've just, I've opened this, but I haven't actually. I don't know why. I had my rehearsal today. Oh, how was that? Oh, I just literally cut myself. Oh. Do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's yeah, no, it's fine. I just. Oh, sorry, that's so <laughs> It's fine. fine. Obviously, caught up on our days and gossiped a bit. Oh, sorry. Never mind. We cooked one of our favourites today: teriyaki salmon with broccoli and rice to be extra healthy, and the sauce prepared artfully by Katie herself. We're doing a new thing. <laughs> Perfectly cooked salmon spirit. Thank you very much, Katie. I procrastinated doing my dishes and instead got dressed for a little self-care date with myself to the cinema. So I walked to the Grafton Centre about half an hour and was very excited to watch Titanic in 3D. I'd never seen it before. The nearby Tesco was unfortunately closed, so I got myself a Coke and popcorn at the cinema. Splashed out a bit. Got excited about the Marabros movie. It looked very silly in two pairs of glasses, but uh, the film was amazing. Here's me raving about it. Walked home and although it was very late, I still felt very safe and got back to fortified Medwood side gates and my room. It's messy again already. Did some revenge procrastination for an hour and then got myself ready for bed. Set my alarms for seven hours time and got myself into bed to do some journaling. I was very tired, clearly. Rubbing my eyes ready for lights out. Getting that energy to do a similar thing again tomorrow. And that's the end of my day. So on that, good night.